Okay, good day. Uh, I'm Nancy, uh, Life of Nancy Schneider, number nine. Okay, I say, I speak about uh, Arik, Israeli beautiful man, that we meet by Miko, and it started a very big love. After Miko, we went to a flat of a friend of Arik in Antwerpen, and we was there three days. We make love like crazy. We enjoy one each other. We really, really was very much in love one with each other. Arik was a very beautiful young man, as I said before. And I remember something, something uh, very strange that happened. That when we was by the friend of Arik, there was only one double bed. I remember that two or three times come man, friend of friend of Arik or friend of Arik himself, they sleep with us in the bed and they went and after come another and sleep. I don't know what it was there, this flat. I don't know, maybe it was a station, <laughs> train station, I don't know. <laughs> but it was beautiful. Anyway, the love with Arik was very strong and uh, I understood that he's, uh, he have other girls, I understood. And normally he went every year to the festival of Cannes with all his friends, with beautiful cars and things like this, and they find beautiful women and they make beautiful life, they fuck without stop. So after I think six, eight months that I was with Arik, he went to Cannes Festival and he let me his dog. But then I leave Antwerpen, Belgium, and I went to Holland, to Amsterdam. And uh, it is not really for me this kind of relationship with a man that he fuck everyone and he have a girl there and girl there. It's, it's, it's not my way to live relationship so uh, I was I don't know why with men I'm I was and I am all the time very hard in one way I'm super soft and super nice and super feminine and but I don't know why I try to understand it all my life from where it's come maybe it's come from for me because of my father that he was a little bit aggressive but it was natural and this time in Israel, six children, nothing, much work. I don't know. I try to understand why I behave like this sometimes, but anyway. Arik went to Cannes and I went to Amsterdam. In an Amsterdam, I meet another man, Rex. A Holland man young beautiful man young beautiful man and it was a big love between us i say big love so quickly that nobody can understand how big love can be so often and so quickly but i'm very realist i lie i can lie everyone but i try not to lie myself because when when you lie yourself price can be very high. You, normally, you, you may be used to lie than self, but it must to be limit with lying as self. And I try not to lie myself very much, because then it's a very big price to pay. <laughs> anyway, I meet Rex. Rex was also a beautiful man who have three girls who work for him. Beautiful, beautiful girl, beautiful. He took me and he showed me his girl. And he went with me to every place and he was really very much in love with me also, Rex. And then I decided to finish with Arik. Then we meet in Piccadilly Square in, no, no, in Rembrandt square in Amsterdam there was a discotheque called Piccadilly that every night we meet there and 
Rex was there and I make a point with, with Arik to come there. And when Arik come, I say to him, but I don't lie, it's true. I say to him, Arik, please meet, uh, no, Rex, please meet my ex-friend. Arik, please meet my new friend. Arik was broken completely. He took his dog and he went to Belgium by train and he said to me after, I never cry like this and I cry like crazy in the train. I don't know. Okay. I live with Rex. I work in Amsterdam in a nightclub, of course. In this time I could work only in a nightclub because I haven't got any permission to, to do other kind of work in a, in forest country. The only one is as photo model or in nightclub. But also as photo model is only some days. Nightclub is months. So I, sh I was working in nightclubs. And then uh, we was together, me and Drex, uh, and then uh, in, in 71, nearly August, July, July I said to Rex that it's finished between us. And I, it's finished, I don't want anymore. Because also he has so many women and what is kind of a relationship, I haven't got time now. And Rex was a very beautiful man. He had Porsche, he had a big motto, he had a yacht. And his flight was all full with <laughs> hashish pieces all over like photos. We smoke a lot in Amsterdam. It was beautiful Amsterdam. I was living in just beside the zoo of Amsterdam. I think the name was Artist Zoo. And I decided I leave. He was also mad. He said to me, I take your dog. I had a dog, small poodle, a green one. His name was Safari. I had American car, Chevrolet Camaro with open roof. Uh, he said, also, I break your car, I will take your dog, I this, this, this. It's not a lie, I say true. I don't lie. I say, okay, I don't know, I have some service of porcelain by him, and he said, I will not give it to you back. I said, okay, take it, I went. I went to Antwerpen, and from Antwerpen with the car, I went to Marseille, and I and I come to Israel with the with the car with Chevrolet Camaro. I went to Marseille, but I didn't sleep this night, and I went all the way to Marseille, and suddenly in the way to Marseille, I slept when I drive, and by luck I went outside from the highway, and there I stopped. And I don't know what's happened to the car after somebody come and bring me to a garage in not far from Marseille. They fix my car. I went to Marseille and I went by boat to Israel, to Haifa. It was in August 1971. I was exactly 20 years. Beautiful, very beautiful, with big car. With already I had Louis Vuitton. People run after me in Geneva and ask me, where did you buy this Louis Vuitton? I buy it in Nice. It was a small shop in Nice from Louis Vuitton and in Paris, not far from the Champs Elysees. And diamond and everything. I come, Israel was crazy about me. Everybody, Nancy, 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 they never saw something like this. And in Israel, I come for two months, but after one and a half months, I had an accident with my car and she was broken completely. And my dog also died in my car. It was my mistake. 
I went to Gordon swimming pool in Tel Aviv. Well, I don't want to talk, think about it. I, I lose my dog, I lose my car. But the problem, I could not leave Israel till I arranged the things with the car. So I stay six months in Israel. And in these six months, I have a rich man. He buy me six coat for <laughs> leopard, ocelot. Uh, after six months, uh, I went back to Holland. Yes. In no, no, just a minute, just a minute, hold on. Before I went, some months before, I met another man, very beautiful Israeli man, very, very beautiful, tall one, beautiful, David. And it was also big love between us. And Miko, Miko is an Israeli dancer, who born in Romania, was we was very good friends. And there was in Rotterdam, with all the Israeli ballet, there was maybe six, seven girls who make striptease in a nightclub. And then uh, David was a singer and he studied also are dramatic trials in Israel and he wanted to make cinema and singing and things like he was singing and he was playing also guitar and and he went before me because I could not leave Israel to Rotterdam he was in Rotterdam and he go to me come he arrange him everything he was playing sometime in there and there and there, having a little money here, a little money there, survive. After I come, we walk in a nightclub, ambas, embassy, embassy, I think, and we work with Josephine Baker. She come with an adoptive daughter to make a show in embassy. She was very old already. She could not see very good. She had a very strong glasses to see. And she was fantastic personality. She was with one of, of the adoptive daughter, always look for her and things like this. And, and I, I knew when I come there that David was going with one woman. And she also sing. But okay, I didn't make for me to big story, okay, anyway, he's young, he's alone, okay, let him. But when I come, we was together, he said to me, you know, I have to go to one town about 200 to 200 uh, kilometers from uh, Rotterdam to sing. And this girl, she's also, she have also to sing there. And they didn't come at night. They didn't come. And I knew he screw her, because if he could screw my mother, he would do it. It was terrible, this one. When he come and the day after, he come to the flat. And when he come to the flat, he find me in the bed with his best friend. And I say to him, please, David, make a tea. Next chapter will come next time. Love you in a life of Nancy Schneider.